right, guys, let me ask you a question. You ever going a bike with square wheels? <laughs> Can we bought to? If you're new to the channel, hit that sub button right now. Comment down below and let's go. So guys, we just made it in the Mo Mab. Pretty excited. Let's see what they have to hold. It's gonna be a great day. Hopefully you guys enjoy your day. So stay tuned. Basically says that this is the map to the museum. There's two floors and they have a lot of uh, interactive things here, things you can touch, things you can play. They also have maybe one or two attractions that you can actually sit and ride on, which is pretty cool. Like I said, this place is basically not a place to actually learn, but more of games to help you learn without you even noticing. So that's probably the cool part about this uh, museum. So we're just gonna get a quick walk through and see what we can do. So let's go. All right guys, so we made it to the first thing here and this is the Twisted Third Way. Stephanie's playing it. I'm gonna show you guys. See, it's kind of like, it has like a twisted car that she can control here that moves all the way around this thing. And you can see on the monitor where her car is or where she's moving. She's actually pressing a gas pedal. And it's turning, let's see, she said it's somewhere. Let's see if we can find her car, guys. Oh, she said it's a red car. Oh, daddy found the guys. Let's see. Oh, there goes Stephanie's car. It's moving really slow. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's pretty cool. Oh, wow. Oh, let's, let's see. Daddy gonna give this a try, guys. Oh, pedal to the metal, babe. You ready? Oh. He's the oh he's moving guys oh he's moving. <laughs> Dang here come to this one. Oh wow. Yeah. Oh wow here comes Stephanie oh you can see her on the camera. <laughs> oh cool. You gotta use this to go forward. I did. Wow okay so you gotta use the nozzle here to yeah, go I did. forward and press the gas pedal. Oh, you could if you want cool. to but you don't really have. Why those lights? Wow. I mean, this is pretty cool, guys. All right, guys, so we're at this next uh, thing. It's called the uh, Coaster Rollers. So it's basically like these balls here. I guess you have to sit here, and then you have to roll yourself all the way over to the end. So we're going to give this a try and see how it works. All right, guys, girl's going to get on the Coaster Rollers. Basically, it teaches you how using these acorn-shaped wheels can help him move smoothly across the track. Oh. So if science proves itself correct, I should be able to glide like water. <laughs> it's like Jesus. I should be able to go on top of the water. Uh oh, this is gonna be epic, guys. Oh. So I don't even know what I'm about to do. All right, pull yourself across with these. Ready? Cool. Oh, okay, he gotta roll himself so across, okay, guys. Look, guys. Oh, look. that's cool. No resistance. Oh, that's it's cool. Right. There you go. <laughs> so it's actually a pretty smooth ride, guys. A little bumpy. It's like a New York City subway. 
little work. A little work. Stephanie, you want to try? Yeah, so this is 96. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> gonna give it a try, guys. All right, Stephanie, your turn. A little work in the arms, but. <laughs> you be all right. Yeah. Science and Oh, that's pretty cool. Justin's getting pulled out, you know? Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty smooth, though. Let's see. All right, let's go, Stephanie. You ready, Steph? Pull yourself back. It should be a smooth ride. Oh, she's actually pretty strong. Okay. Yeah, please support. Yeah. So any so, fun that you're experiencing is not a change in your height. You're not going up and down. You're hitting the side. Ah. Uh, so okay. Uh, okay. So it's like a smooth glide going and coming back. So that's pretty cool. Okay. That's pretty cool. So just to think, man, you can actually use squares to move. It's all about science. So we're gonna actually move on to something and show you guys how squares can be used as wheels. Isn't that amazing? Hey guys, let me ask you a question. You ever going a bike with square wheels? <laughs> can we bought to? All right guys, Rel and Stephanie are gonna try the bicycle with square we're gonna wheels. We're gonna be in the middle actually and crash. So let's see if we're gonna crash in the middle. Here, let me give you a pull. Once you've got a little momentum, oh, there you go. This is cool. <laughs> Every morning, try to take this out of like seven guys. I feel like Dennis the minute. <laughs> this is really cool, guys. It's a little bumpy, man. Oh, wow. We got back pain, don't even try to set home. Oh, wow. This is pretty cool, guys. Yeah. How'd it go, feel? Go try the big one. Feel like a kid again. <laughs> yeah, Ma, you gotta try. I'm not kidding. Ma, gotta try. Come on, try, Ma. Well, let's definitely go first. And then Look how big her wheels is. <laughs> oh, that's pretty cool. Whee! All right. This is crazy. Oh. Push. Look at Mommy. To ride, oh, yo, cool. Ain't that cool? I didn't even notice that the wheels is actually two different shapes. You guys don't, don't notice, so that's amazing. So I think that this vehicle will be perfect for New York City streets with all the potholes. Well, thank you. With all the potholes and bumps in the city. This is called string product. I think you actually control the lights and numbers, like so, yeah. So basically, it's starting from the bottom all the way up and she's controlling the lights on the number. So, so the lower the number, the light goes on at the bottom and the higher the number, the light goes on at the top. Right, so if you hold both, it's like science. So something that was really cool guys about that last bike that we just rode, you know, it's like she was saying, everything is so uh, calculated by science right. that one slight uh, turn or one slight nudge throw or will throw everything off track. Yes. So, like yes. we said, we educate through fun experiences in science and math. So, like I said, this is not about sitting and learning. Oh, what's this problem? What's that problem? This is a museum basically to show you that math can be fun. Because if you really think about it, it's very, numbers are very important. I think. Yeah. And if you don't know your numbers, then you might have a problem. Well, like I used to say, if you don't know how to read, hopefully you know your numbers. They're math, so you got to know one of the two. So like yeah. I said, guys, hopefully you're enjoying this vlog. Like we said, we're going to show you some more of this science here. Uh, yeah. Old math in my hand. Yeah, so basically, Stephanie's here adjusting levels to see if she can get this height to go all the way straight down. So once she releases the level, if she adjusts all of these correctly, it should just land all the way the back of the head. So let's see, she's actually readjusting some of the levels up, down, like a roller coaster. This should be fun. She released it all. So when she releases, it should like a roller coaster go down. So this is the track of Galileo. 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 You know I got an accent. Still she can move, like, okay. That's what she wants to try. Let's see if she gets it, guys. All right, let's go. And there it goes, guys. Yep. Oh, there you go. 
just did it. She just created her first roller coaster. Oh, that was good, then stop. Oh, that's pretty cool. See, it, if you don't do it correctly, it won't go all the way. It to won't the go end. all the way to the end. It'll be a resistance. There you go. It's fast too, like a race car. Oh, oh, she's trying to make it go back up. I don't know if that's possible. Science is a science proof. <laughs> Maybe if she lowers this, oh nah, definitely oh, not. Yeah. Oh, she pushed it pretty hard though. Ooh. Wow, that's pretty cool. I like that. Uh oh, oh she about to make it extreme roller coaster. Guys. Oh, 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 oh wow. my god, she about to break it. She about to break the thing. I know that they do 3D, they have like this thing where they do 3D printing and they usually like let people design their own 3D print and they let them vote on which 3D print was the best and whichever one wins gets printed out and put on display. That's pretty cool. Stretching it All out. Right, guys. So go to the back, baby. It's actually no cheating here, guys. Yeah, no it's cheating. actually a motion sensor. So. Are you ready? Sis? Zero position. Zero. Zero, sis. Zero. Okay. Game in progress. Now you gotta Let's wait. Let's go. Three, two, one. Here we go. That's you. Get in the circle. Yep. All right, baby. Yep. Move forward. Oh, you got it. Okay. Move back a little. Oh, move back a little. Oh. So that's Stephanie, guys. That little oh, circle. That's fine. She has to stay in between the middle line. All right, go up. In between. Up. Go back. Oh. Up. Oh. Go back. Up. Oh. Up. 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 Oh. Stay. Stay. Great. It's saying stay. great. You know what this is? This is giving oh. me like dance people vibe. Oh. Uh oh. oh. She's getting creative. Go up, baby. Oh, you got it. Go up a little bit. She been oh, working on her angles. Go down, go down. Oh, oh. Man, she got 19 points. 19. Good job. Let's go. Let's Game go. two. Let's go. Let's go. Game two. You ready? One, two, three. So this is Stephanie right here. This little circle. Oh, oh. oh wait. What? Uh-oh. Oh. Wait. Uh-oh. That was real. She's doing a split, y'all. Look at this girl. I'm about to pull her in fantastic gymnastics. Oh. Oh, oh, go up, baby, go up. Oh. Go up, go up, baby. Go oh, down, go down. She look like she's stomping out roaches. Oh, go up, go up, go up, go up. 
Damn, mommy giving so many directions. She's nasty. Yeah, she gonna go back. She's so nasty. Come on, Steph, stay focused. Stay focused. Oh. Oh. Wait, what? That's she. She's cheating. She tried to do a step in the name of love. 27, that's not bad. 27. All right, good game. Okay, my turn. So mommy's gonna attempt to see what happens. This should be interesting. I'm ready. All right, guys, I'm ready. So mommy's gonna attempt it. She should be an expert. She was giving so much advice to uh, Stephanie. So here we go, you ready, guys? Step forward, step forward, step forward, step back, step forward, step back, step forward. Mommy was so distracting. So let's see. Come on, mom, forward, back, back, back. Keep going back, mom. All the way back. Now you gotta run forward. Come on, forward, forward, forward. Oh, I got you. Step it back, step it back. I got, I got, I got, I got Why you got your hands like that? Okay, I'm trying to think. She didn't run, she a track stop. Hey, 14. <laughs> Try to use this jostling approach. Yeah, the jostling. Yeah, pull out your imaginary sword. So here we go. Here we go, yeah, mom, back. Get him, mom. Attack, attack. Defense, defense. Defense, defense. Defense. You just got killed. Attack, 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 attack. Defense, defense. This is sad to watch. She literally got five points, guys. This is sad. Hey, guys, if you feel bad for Jazz right now, just subscribe, comment down below, and let her know that she's doing a great job. She got 11 out of 100. That's fine. I think I did it. First of all, that was like a good workout. It's like running back and forth. It was actually pretty hard, just a little bit. But I ain't gonna lie, I might try before we leave, guys. Don't judge me. It looks pretty simple. It looks easier than what it was. If, if mommy could do it, I could do it. So let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah, let's do it, guys. So Stephanie about to enter the world of hip hop. She always wants to be a cyber DJ. Hey, spin, spin, turn on the track and spin it. Is this sounds or is this shapes? This is formula morph. I don't know like what it actually does. Well, comment down below, guys. You ever seen a formula morph? Or do you guys know what the formula morph is? I don't know. I didn't get this far in math in school, man. I actually got yeah. far into like my times tables and yeah, then I was it. Is. Well, we'll figure it out. We'll let you know when we come back. I never even did division, guys. <laughs> All right, guys. So Stephanie's playing pattern mesh. It's basically you put two patterns together and rotate them over one another to create surprising new patterns. So this is pretty cool. Stephanie, you need help? All right, guys. So Stephanie going to choose two patterns to create. So we're going to look up here. So basically when you choose two patterns that are similar to each other, they create a really neat effect or a really neat pattern. So let's try the dark lines with a wait, the dark lines with another pattern. So let's put that on top. Oh look guys, so you see it's creating a rotation. And it gives it a different kind of effect. So that's pretty cool. It looks sort of kind of 3D, if you ask me. That's pretty cool. So guys, Stephanie is in the hyper, hyper boyish. And you basically have to spin the chair and it spins the line. It's a cool, neat design, which is pretty cool. And you can see they're moving. Go ahead, try to see how fast you can spin. Now I'm going this way, but the other way. Oh, cool. Oh, look, it actually looks like it's getting tighter and tighter. Oh, that's awesome. Look at that. Oh, then she spins back around. All right. <laughs> oh, this is pretty cool, guys. All right, guys, so the next thing we're going to try is called Light Groove. It says, the shapes and the lights look like they are coming out of the wall, but they have all been made by very thin grooves in flat metal plates. So basically, when you flash light on these things, it gives it the, um, it gives it the look of it moving, and it's not. So this is pretty cool. So we're going to give this a try. Let's go. All right, guys. Here are the light grooves. Oh, this is pretty cool. Here are the reflectors. That's actually when you move the reflectors, it actually gives it the sense as if these things are moving. So as you can see, Stephanie and Rel are moving the reflectors. 
and it's actually giving a pretty cool sight of these metal plates for all these cool different designs. This is awesome. Yeah, I love it. So actually you can see it's like, it's not even, you don't even feel the ridges here. It's definitely like a smear, shellac, or smooth sanded uh, surface, which is cool. And then like you said, with the lights above, if you notice the effect of the light, once it hits the lights, it gives a 3D a visual effect. So that's pretty cool. I actually can do these at home. So if you want, comment down below. I can make you a view. So. You know what? <laughs> All right, guys, we made it to Shape of Space. So basically, it's this air flowing thing, and you can actually put these little shapes here, and they stick. They stick, which is pretty cool. And you can oh, make different it shapes. It didn't stick, sorry. Ah, you know what? Look at this one, guys. Somebody did a really great job here. Wow. Actually, take all these pieces, and you can create your own design. This is awesome. Yeah, somebody hooked this up real good. Yeah, I was watching them actually, so let's see wow. if this is the trigger. All right, let's try to add to it, guys. How do you get them to stick? Well, they stick on their own. There's actually like air being yeah. sucked in. So they're kind of like a vacuum. So basically, if you match all the shapes correctly. Yeah, it'll create a really cool design. That's awesome. Somewhere it's messed up. Where? I don't know. Because it won't fit. It's like a puzzle piece. So don't well, tell them where we messed up. <laughs> but somebody was over here already fixing it. So they actually got it going. So I don't know. But that's pretty cool. Guys. Button right here. I guess that's the button to turn it on and off. Oh, I thought it was the button maybe to release them back. But this is cool. Shapes. Shapes that's used like numbers. So yeah, I like We this. actually want to awesome. go downstairs, guys. All right, guys, we're heading downstairs. Ooh, these steps look pretty cool. <laughs> I got these steps in my house, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Same steps. All right. Oh, guys, look at this. Oh, it's about to go down. Oh, wow. Now, what if I felt that? Oh, wow. This is in a cool. big top. What is this? So what's the odds of her tilting out? Um, very likely. It's pretty cool down here too, man. I'm in the center of gravity. That's what it's called. For real? I can tell, so that means you'll never fall over. So basically, Stephanie's trying to use these four shapes to actually complete the square. They also have a kiosk here where you could get some tips on how you can actually complete it. It's crazy how it's only four pieces, so it has to fit, but times tables. I'm an expert at times tables. I know how to multiply the money. It's the same thing, using them shapes to actually complete the pyogram, whatever you call it. Obviously, it's not Stephanie's specialty. <laughs> this is giving me flashbacks when you have to take those little cards and make the number 24. How many times can you make 24? I used to hate that as a kid. So. She gave up already. Dag, man. Oh, cool. So basically, you have to use the shapes to put them in the center and make sure that they all fit to create that one shape. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. I'd be here for the rest of my life trying to figure this out, guys. I wouldn't even, for a million dollars, I wouldn't even figure this out. Yeah. Uh, Stuff is this stuff is like I said, science, math, and physics all go together. <laughs> and they fit in the circle. Nope. She's just creating her own shape, guys. <laughs> Look what she's making. <laughs> and it's showing her what she's doing too. Oh, that's pretty cool. My thing is, do you have to use all of the shapes to get in, or she created an anime character? <laughs> That's cool. Guys, y'all see that? That's dope, right? When you turn it this way, it looks like circle. Something like a chocolate fountain. And when you turn it this way, it looks more like circles. Pretty cool. Check this one out. Let's see. When you turn it this way, it looks like the illusion of water. 
Then we turn it this way. Oh, it looks like it's moving. It's oh, like that's pretty cool. The illusion of, like, it looks like it's standing still, but shaking, like dripping. Oh, wow. Interesting. I guess, I guess it's moving pretty fast. Oh, yeah. Check this one out, guys. Looks like it's a turning turntable. When we turn it this way. Oh, wow, guys, look, when we turn it this way. You see that? That's dope. Pretty cool. All right, guys, this thing here is called Ab Square. So basically, when you're standing on these things, if there's only one person, the bigger the square is. So when there's multiple people on the pad, the smaller the square gets. So as you can see, there's a lot of little kids on here. And it's pretty cool. So it's basically giving them like a puzzle game to play. This is pretty awesome. All the different colors. I like this. You guys should bring your kids here. It's great, great, great fun. Even though it has to do with math. This is awesome. Not Show them good. how to do it. Let me see. Let me see how fast your fancy footwork is. There's a lot of people on here. Well, the final session will be Christine. These kids better move over. <laughs> Big dog coming through. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Right now, they have it displayed as a game. So it's basically like playing Tetris. So that's what the kids are doing. They're, they're moving the squares on the positions that they want them to go. So the more you move, the more the squares move. I think it's only the red square they control, actually. Yeah, they're controlling the red square. You see, she's stepping forward and the squares move. Yeah. Disappeared. Oh, and then you started it. But they got this really cool uh, thing over here. You can control the lights and it actually makes you look like a tree. So we're gonna go try, we're gonna go try this out, guys. This should be really cool. All right, guys, so this thing here is called a human tree. So you basically can stand here and it gives you different shapes. So the bigger you open your arms, the more shapes there are, and the smaller you open your arms. The little shapes. So you can easily like this. Actually, creates more than the first three. So the bigger you open your arms and your hands, the more shapes you get. Oh, this is so. Oh, go stand to the left. Hey, to the right. <laughs> Look what happened when she held her hands to her hips. Hey, sassiness. Oh, shaking. Look at she look like Shakira. Oh no. Oh, look at that. Oh, now it's just me. Oh, a million jasmine. So this is called the twist and roll. So basically, they give you these shapes, and you gotta try to follow the patterns that are on the table. So and you can also take them apart and do like a mix and match. But like I said, you can take the shapes, you put them together, and you have to try to follow the pattern or try to make the shape pick up the pattern on oh, the wow. table. So if they don't, then you can always remove them and put any other shape and try to get the shape to roll on the table. So basically like like this shape here, I see how it looks. And I'm gonna try to follow this line to see if I can get the pattern. That's, that's oh, the right, you see how it's just rolling down? So you have to pass the hands up. You have to pass the hands keep moving them. Some of them move, some of them don't. And I said, you can mix and match the pieces and it'll give you a way to move on, twist and turn on the table. So that's pretty cool. That one was pretty cool. She actually got that. this one to roll. I, I got this one to roll on this line. Yeah, so that's how See, it's, it's actually picking up the shape on the table. That's, so that's pretty, pretty dope. Cool. <laughs> so the more pieces you take and mix match, you can actually pick up the pattern and rotation. So that's pretty cool. Oh, can we get somebody to explain? Oh, like the camera. You controlling it? Oh, yeah. But you over there. The camera's over there somehow. Yeah, you see? to create different patterns. Also, you can create different patterns with the camera here, guys. Oh, this is cool, okay. Let's see, let's see, turn that, turn, turn the other camera. Oh, you can see daddy. Oh, you can see daddy. <laughs> Check it out, guys, bright lights in the city. Hey. Yeah, I know we stay that lit. Hey. hey. 
Oh, this is cool. I like this. You can turn them. Oh, no, I just up. Uh, like, basically, just the up and down motion. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty cool. Like we said, so many different shapes and patterns. Yeah, Science, yeah. physics, everything just goes yeah. hand in hand, guys. Yeah. I think this is really cool. Like I said, for kids, if they're into this, they're gonna love this, man. Yes. There's so many hands-on activities that educate them through fun activities. So yep. even if your kids don't like math, yeah, they'll, like they'll get involved. So they, you know, they'll probably open up their horizons. So that's dope, man. You gotta always keep your mind sharp, keep your body safe. You know yes. what I'm talking about? Yeah, let's go, guys. Let's, let's see what else we can find. Oh, okay. Do you understand it? Yeah, so basically you, they have these handles with different numbers. So each player goes one at a time. So whatever numbers you pick, you have to make sure that they add to 15. If you add over 15, you lose. Sound like 21 blackjack. Well, text, but it's 15, that's 21. <laughs> I don't know, guys. Like I said, man, I, I, I pretty I was like the best reader in my class all the way up to eighth grade. But when it came to math, I sucked. So. Oh man, I guess we all been there at one point in our lives. But I'm really I'm really good at my times tables and my um adding. I'm not really good at subtracting. Subtracting. <laughs> yeah, I don't like to subtract. I like to add. So. Let's see what else this museum had. Like we said, hopefully you enjoy your day. Hopefully you enjoy this vlog. Hope okay. you guys like this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. To the Jarrett's and vlog. Love you guys. So guys, this young boy is actually playing his grandfather and Jasmine and Stephanie's actually helping him cheat. You did a great job, guys. <laughs> You win. You win, yay, wow. good job. <laughs> so Jasmine is gonna actually try to attempt this game. This one is pretty dope. We gotta add to 15, so how long have you got? You ready, baby? Okay, let's see, okay, press the start button. Okay, it says play against someone on the other side. Press the blue button. Okay, play the computer, okay, okay. Pull one lever, then let the other player take a turn. Okay, I hope for why do you give me six? Okay, now, okay, okay, now you will be playing against the computer. Alright guys, so Rel is playing monkey in around. Yeah, you just gotta basically so, move everything in one direction. Right, so to get all the monkeys in, in the same shape. pattern. Yeah, so the middle one is basically the one you need to move. Right. Bum, bum. That's it. Oh great, look, so all the monkeys are in the pattern. Oh, they wanted you to use this actually. All the monkeys are in a pattern though. You had it, babe. Yeah. Well, Look, use my all hand the monkeys there. are in a pattern. Oh, that's pretty cool. You wanna come play this guy's called Monkey Around. Alright. So here we have the six cents. You have to see if you could trick it. Oh, so you have to trick the machine. Oh wow. Alright guys, so you see these little patterns here? They're wet with water. So you basically have to use the rollers and put them on a roller, and when you roll it. It creates the pattern of the shape that you picked up. So let's give it a try. Let's see, Stephanie has a duck. Oh, that's pretty cool. Let us see if she create if she can create the pattern of a duck. Oh, sort of. Uh, oh, sort of. Oh, it does actually give it a little pattern. Oh, so that's pretty cool. This is called the water breeze. <laughs> oh, so that's pretty cool. There it goes. Let's see if she can get the pattern, guys. What? Let me try. Yeah. Oh, there it goes, guys. Look, there it goes, a duck. That's pretty cool. Let's try again. Oh, there goes another one. <laughs> All right, look at Daddy, guys. He's basically sitting in the chair of gravity. He's got stuck. Oh, he's stuck. Wait, let's see if he can get himself out. Oh. Oh, oh you ready? Spin him. Let's go. Oh. I see him tilting right now. Oh, I can see her just tilting me over. Oh, my God. Everybody. There's no way. If that's, it's impossible for you to fall. Yeah. Yeah, right. Oh, my God. I can see God. everybody now. LOL and crying faces on the other Oh, channel. my gosh. Not guys, today, guys. Baby. Not today. Not this vlog, y'all. 
Oh guys, here they have a called a robot swarm, but it's off now. This is another interactive game that you can play here at the math museum. All right guys, this is called the 3D Doodle. So basically you have to take these shapes and put them in order in order to create a 3D look. So as you can see here, Stephanie has put these triangles together. Trying to stick them in. Oh look, and it gives it a 3D effect. Oh, that's awesome. I like this, this is pretty cool. All right guys, we are here at the Tassellation Station. Basically, they give you these little magnets that you can stick on the wall to create a shape. Oh, this is pretty cool. I don't know what that is creating over there, but that's awesome. Oh, look at this flower. Oh, somebody made a cute face. <laughs> wow. Let's see what shape Stephanie can create. By the time you see this vlog here, most likely you guys can wish Jasmine a happy birthday. So it could be her birthday by the time that you guys will see this vlog. We well, were told that if we drop this card and land it in a bucket, which will never happen, <laughs> we'll win a free prize. So I'm gonna just go boom. See, Aww, I was just gonna go I'm with that. Maybe get that. luck. Mommy's the one that has the most luck here. So let's see. All right, she lost already. She's overthinking it. Oh, that sucked. <laughs> Thank you. All right, guys. So we're at the gift shop here. Love you guys. Peace.